Nation semifinal match going up against Yampayo Three, and two, Plum. One, and we are ball. back to Demon Island. I feel like um, there is a favorite map amongst players today. As we, drop I, in, as we drop in into neutral. It's funny you say today because I feel like every day is a Demon Island day here, especially as you get later on into the um into the tournament of course you know in this top four situation the demon island you're definitely going to see a lot of it but nonetheless we're going to see a lot more of these two teams we hopefully get a long set because i feel like uh, it's going to be pretty back and forth so far no matter how uh, hard T uh, tiger and keith have been playing yeah well we're seeing um the the, uh, the cycle has already been broken at this point because um keith and tiger are not getting that huge a breakout lead in the beginning Although they are the first to strike, it is Yampayo and that Red Raptor can take it out. Followed up by the Chun-Li from Plum. And, and now Keith the Tiger do have the early lead. Keith looking pretty good still. Um, just starting to get into orange. Why Tiger, um, on the other hand, is well in the knockout. So we have a very sacred power here. Every time we say the word lead, I feel like I chaos kind of breaks out on yes. um, screen. Whether we say someone has a lead and it goes away or say there is no lead and a lead develops uh, now the blue team looking to hold on as Keith has been pretty consistent at not only doing a lot of damage and taking a lot of stocks but also holding on to these stocks playing without any fear no matter the damage Keith is going to play the same aggressive play style on this old room it most certainly is I mean it's been working out why why switch it I mean it has been working amazing for him oh my gosh it's so satisfying as a, as a orb guy that orb there off stage so much momentum taking care of that stock and young Pio trying to rally back here a little bit and take back in this thing. Just get some damage up on Keith. They can put themselves right back in this. Tiger is going to fall. That, hey, that, that's good enough, too. We'll take a stock off of Tiger. Keith is still holding on to that second stock. Young Pio and a Plum trying to be very careful here, but that is going to not confirm. Wow, Demon Island with some big O sides. Oh, nice catch on the Sig there. Is able to get the ground pound there. Keith closing out those edge guard stocks with the axe. Uh, you saw there, Tiger tried to disrupt that big team combo. And those team combos are what you're going to need uh, to be able to knock Keith out. Because Keith has been holding onto these stocks so successfully so far. And a big side air comes through Keith on that second stock. Able to live that side air, but not that subsequent recovery on the Chun-Li. The gauntlets are going to be able to close that one out. Chase is far with that side air, with that weapon toss. Uh, trying to extend that edge guard into a stock. Doesn't quite find it, though. As the blue team looks to even up the stock count. And they do just that. And here, you are now facing down a team combo very fortunate that that dropped if you are the red raptor because it is scary look at all of the chasing the recoveries coming through as well from ogram no weapon in hand and still even when his teammate is getting juggled and finding ways to ko gets the cider keith has been playing amazingly so far continuing their dominance here i i really kind of thought red team i mean they still could pull this out oh no no a plum unfortunately gonna get a little hit there and be taken off stage. Um, I really thought Yampayo and Plum were gonna um, break break that game one cycle. I mean, they did when it came to, you know, they didn't get six stock, they didn't get five stock. They put up a one heck of a fight and brought it very close. This second game, um, we always talk about the adaptations, the download being made um, in game one and making those changes going into the next game. And I cannot think of a set in recent memory where it's a little, is, is, it is as important as it is a right now based off of how close that first game was. You see that there from Keith. 52% yeah. accuracy on light attacks, 615 damage dealt. That is a... You, the game plan needs to shift to suppress yeah. Keith because Keith is getting way too much going right now on the Ogrim. You saw there in the replays <laughs> that, uh, Three, you know, what last one, stock on each situation, your teammate is getting juggled and Keith is like, yeah, I will still find opportunities to take the stocks. Absolutely is, and we don't see any sign of slowing down. I mean, he has been doing this all through this elimination side run that we have been able to watch. And so far, it is still a business as usual. Although, Keith might be the first to lose the stock. He is in knockout range, a big orb recovery coming off of Yumpayo, but not able to finish up that stock. He's gonna try to play catch up here and uh, get some damage before he gets uh, confirmed on that. That orb has been so crucial for Yin Pio. Of course, you know, side lights there being a consistent open up recovery, being very uh, great at getting back to the stage, but also closing out those KOs. But on this high ceiling on Apocalypse, it becomes a lot harder here. 
fucking pile really on the, yeah. trying to get that juggle there with their cover. Can't really find it. Uh, Plume just trying to play support on the spear, trying to disrupt, but he's getting a big ground pound and actually uh, saving Yimpayo there by giving the chase dodge, thinking Yimpayo could have made it back on their own. And that's going to be Keith now. I mean, the blue team, you know, even stocks here, but Keith is very, very dark red now. And he is very focused on getting the stock off of Yumpayo, chasing him down. Switching over to Plum here. Now, Pio can take up the ceiling, not enough to confirm that stock. Grabbing the sideline over Keith right there to go ahead and clean it up and confirm it. And somehow, even though he took a bunch of damage opening stock, he is just now, he was the, he was the first to get into deep damage and the last one to lose the stock. Keith, my man's a playing out of his mind today. I mean, I mean, not enough can be said about the dominance that Keith has been exhibiting here in the elimination side of this bracket. Red team now with an opportunity to try to seize some control of this match. Goes for a ground pound, is Yumpayo able to get the follow up on the recovery. Tiger tries to make it back safely there and a big, I think that was a ground pound, sending Plume or Plum off stage. And, Looking rough for the blue team as that recovery does land for Plum. And now evening up, or sorry, now a stock lead for the red team. And a big open up on Keith. That's big damage. So important. The Nair continues. Goes for the gravity cancel sig. The left side of the stage has been a nightmare for Keith. But finally getting back to the center and seizing some control back. Looking to find these KOs. Yeah, I mean, there's, I was going to say, they did have the lead, but they were so close to losing those stocks. And, and now that gives the advantage of back the blue team and a right back on a keys the shoulders as a plum is trying to put some good big damage over on Tiger. Uh, Yampayo missing with that uh, neutral sig. Come back to one stage. Something to finish up with. A nice snare. Come up with the recovery. Couldn't find anything from it, though. Tiger being smart, staying up in the air, staying out of the way of that down sig from the Chun Li and swapping over to Yampayo. Putting some damage on him. This is back and forth, but Yampayo and Bloom are so close to falling in this game number two, and that would put them on tournament game. Big recovery from Tiger there. The red team, ever since losing those stocks, have not found their footing on the ground, and that continues to be as Tiger is able to chase high with that sick to close out that stock. He, I mean, you have such a big lead, you're able to go off stage and risk those things, forcing the options out. Tiger able to close it out with the ground pound. Blue team and Keith have been playing insane, but I mean, it is it's going to take a lot for red team here. They have to make something happen. They absolutely do. And while, while we're looking at the street plays, I want to know who sent them down to elimination side. Because I'm not going to lie, I haven't looked. And it was it was actually Yumpayo and Plum that sent them down here. So they are getting a bit of that rematch. And um, it was a pretty definitive win from Yumpayo and Plum over there in top 32. Um, so we'll see if they're going to be able to do it twice in a row. Um, they need a three games though to be able to get done against Tiger. Yeah, we've been talking about um, you know Keith's dominance, but uh, that last game actually Tiger doing more damage uh -huh. than Keith, and that that's when it gets scary, right? Because right. when you're so used to one person stock tanking and doing everything for their team, you start kind of over fixating, three, and then Tiger two, stepping one, up to the plate, realizing, hey, they're more worried about Keith. Now is my moment to come in and do a lot of damage on the Koji, and it's working. And I really think I, I really think you hit right. I think um, Red Team was very focused on Keith, and that did give Tiger the opportunity to be like, okay, let me sneak some, let me sneak some stuff in here now. Let me let me go ahead and push the buttons, and it worked out for him. Um, Yumpayo and Plum though, trying to keep this set alive because you know you don't you don't want to don't want to don't want to out yet. Yeah, I mean so, you know having having such a deep run, right? You would right. like to see it end here. I don't know what happened, but somebody got KO there, uh, yeah. yeah, facing down a, a unfortunate stock loss there. What happened? Did you see it? Uh, got taken up off that top left corner, that 45 degree angle. As we're seeing a Keith getting taken up the top right again. Keith though fighting back an arm, catching a D-Light off of that axe. Yampayo reaching out a little early and going to go ahead and get that team combo. Keith just... You want a weapon, bro? Or are we just we just fighting an arm? There we go. Lance back in hand, and he's just going straight back to work with him these days. That's crazy. Even on this high damage uh, uh -huh. colors, I mean, the deepest red you could possibly get in, and it just doesn't matter for Keith. Keith is like, I don't care. I'm going to play the same way anyway. Just continuing this big aggression. Finally, Club able to reversal that situation, but not without Tiger able to capitalize on that juggle and gets potentially a double KO of 
Keith can tap it in, doesn't quite compile. Able to give enough time for Plum, but a side air sends you right back off stage. You are not, you are a non-factor in this last, in this uh, moment in the game because they are just suppressing Plum. Though finally able to get some footing here with the axe Dude. on hand. He caught, he caught what a side light and then a D light. If there hasn't been a bunch after that, that is going to go ahead and confirm the stock. And a blue team go ahead and getting that nice lead, have that full stock advantage. And a young Pio getting some damage put on him. I don't know if the switch off the Red Raptor was the right decision. Um, but I mean, it was in game three. They were down two and you have to try something. Plum reaching up with that spear off of Bryn. Tiger friendly, friendly damage on to Keith. Keith finally being taken down onto his last stock. And young Pio, if he can keep tanking this last stock, this is still doable for Red Team. Yeah, the damage can definitely skew very quickly on the cannon. Young Pio has been holding onto this cannon entirely and playing absolutely evasive, but they're stuck in some end lag is going to force your teammate to just face a team combo. Keith closing it out with the recovery there. Plum with an opportunity to make this big miracle comeback and a great way to start with that sig, but you are at very deep red now as any hit truly will ax. Uh, ax will be able to close it out, but Plum gets the dodge there, tries to cover the landing with a sig, doesn't oh. quite find it, gets a down light into Nair though, that's big. Back to center stage, side light, goes for another dodge, he doesn't find it, Keith not giving any dodges in, no matter what the pressure situation, not giving the scared option. Continuing and finally catching with the side light, Keith closing that one out, suppressing the clutch, and closing it out, wow. Plum was cooking, like, Plum was he, cooking. he was racking up some serious damage on the Keith in that last knock. Um, almost made the clutch be able to bring their team into game number four, but unfortunately, that is.